Today I'm going to show you how to make an AI selfie of yourself. Now, we don't always have good hair days. Sometimes we can't afford a photo shoot or we just don't feel like it. And the clothes alone and all of the accessories as well as the decorations in the background and finding a place to do a photo shoot, those take up a lot of time and they're expensive. And sometimes you want your cat in your photo and he just won't cooperate. Or he might just join for a video like today, even though he wasn't invited. <laughs> oh, now you want to leave. Sure. So if that is the case with you, I am going to show you today how to create a selfie of yourself using AI. The first step is you're going to have to pay for Mid Journey. They no longer have free plans, but they're totally worth it. I have the $10 plan and that's pretty much enough for me right now. If you find that you're going to run out, then you can upgrade but I would say start out with the $10 mid-journey plan. Next, you're gonna go and sign up for Discord, or if you already have a Discord account, you're all set, but Discord runs locally on your computer, so you're gonna go to the download. Mine just knew somehow that I had a Mac, uh, but if you are on Windows, then you can use that. I have no idea how Linux works, and I've actually never used it for on my phone or on my tablet, my Android tablet, uh, but I guess you could. Um, and then the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to get in in Swapper. I have my own personal mid journey server on discord. I have another tutorial that will walk you through how to set that up, but I have left you a link below for insight swapper. You're going to need this. This is an app for mid journey. That's going to let you swap in faces. Um, so once you add that, it's going to give you this option right here where it says add to which server I have two servers. I also use blue willow to make AI, but I'm going to just add it to my Lisa Seifert server. I'm going to say continue. And then when I open up discord, it will be there. By default, you are probably using mid journey version five. So if you want to use version six, you're going to come in here to the prompt, click slash and just type settings, hit settings. And then once you click inside of here, you are going to be able to go ahead and see this drop down list and you can check select mid journey model six version six so then you don't have to keep typing in the version it will just automatically start using the latest version now remember alpha i don't know if you're familiar with that term but alpha means it hasn't even gone into beta yet so if you run into some issues i would just go back here and switch to the more stable version 5.2 to go ahead and chance it and use version six the thing you're going to have to do is upload an image of yourself so i have a few different images of myself here just my headshot a good headshot is one where you're not wearing any jewelry like earrings nose piercings um and you also aren't wearing uh anything like say headband or have too much hair like covering up your face so it looks like you have only one eye um so those are the type of headshots that you want to try and get to upload into mid journey so it knows what you look like upload ourselves we're going to go to the next prompt line we're going to hit slash and save id oh oops slash save id there we go hit the space button once and then you're going to get this option to drag and drop a photo so i am going to drag and drop one of my photos right onto here and I'm gonna go ahead and give this a name. I'm gonna call it Seifert, if I can spell my own name right. And I'm gonna hit return, done. It knows who I am, I know, it's like magic. So the next thing we're gonna do is we can either generate an image or upload an image and put our face in there. So we're just going to ask it to imagine so I'm gonna ask it to give me a photo shoot of a businesswoman in a purple dress sitting in a cafe and there's purple latte art and there's planners and notebooks on the table and when daylight streaming in and we'll see what happens. All right, so I uh, love this latte art. I can't actually see the person's face, so this probably won't make a good author headshot. Um, but I really like this person, uh, that looks nice. So I'm just gonna say upscale, on version four and then once we upscale on that i'm going to go ahead and go here to the top three buttons and i'm going to go to apps and say in swapper and it's going to swap in that face that i just uploaded in a second 
All right. So it's going to give me two options. And I don't know if I like either one. I probably like the first one better. So the easiest thing that we could do is we can go over to Adobe Stock and we can actually download an image. So let's say I just really like this woman at her laptop and I'd want to stick my face there. So I'm going to download that image, head back over to Discord and go ahead and say swap. Whoops slash swap ID, hit the space button again, and now it's gonna prompt me again to drop an image. I'm gonna drop that image I just downloaded in here. And then the ID name, the one we just typed in, Lisa Ellen, we're gonna put that in there, hit return, and it's gonna put Lisa Ellen into that photo, which is the whole point of the command swap ID. So there we are, it's me, and I look kind of like I have a perm. I guess if this was the 80s again. So maybe I don't really like that. I could take this photo, download it into Photoshop and get a different hairstyle. But instead, I think I'm just gonna look for another woman, maybe with straight hair. This is also helpful for you to know like maybe hairstyles that don't work for you. Clearly that was not a ha hairstyle that worked for me. Um, so we're gonna do, all right, I kind of like this one. It's a little beachy and she's on her laptop and it's more of a full face shot. So we're gonna go into Mid Journey and try that again. So remember it's swap ID and we're gonna drop that photo in here at the top. And we're gonna put in Lisa Allen. And this is much better. I love this photo a thousand times more than the other photo. It's doing something a little weird on the cheeks and it's made the face a little too wide. So let's go ahead and try to do some AI. Uh, so we're gonna type in imagine and here's that prompt, just a woman sitting in a purple dress at a cafe with a laptop, has some latte art in a mug and you can see daylight and the street and the background. All right, so this top one looks a little weird. It's like she's at the a table and a table is cutting into her. So that's probably not the best one. I do like these bottom two. So what you can do for both of them is you can just go ahead and upscale that third one. And we'll once it upscales, we'll hit those three dots over here and we'll go to apps and go to InSwapper and it will just swap in my face right over here. There we go. I love this. I think it looks great. Uh, let's try the other one. So we're gonna upscale on four. And over here, we're gonna try that same thing. And we are going to do in swapper. So it seems to work better with faces that are artificially created versus faces that are from a photo. Not always, um, but again, I have that weird chin thing. Maybe it's the picture I submitted. You could try submitting different pictures too uh, to see if that changes it. Um, but it looks like on her face, the artificial one, she kind of has a really wide face anyway. My face just isn't as wide in the jawbone area. Uh, so that's also possibly a different issue, but I love the purple latte art that is over here. So anyways, don't wanna make this video super long to keep going through them. You can go through them with your own photos, try them out and see what you like. If you're having trouble with prompting or you just don't feel like you have the time to do that, I will do them for you. So this is the first time I've been ever offering one-on-one -on -one custom design services. So definitely drop me a note below. I am happy to work with you on this. You do need at least 20 photos of yourself, clean photos. Remember, no nose rings, earrings, headbands, any of that stuff. And uh, we can get started with trying to make some beautiful AI art of yourself so you have a nice author headshot. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.